Hello and welcome to this series on how to quiet your inner critic. We've all got one, that awful voice in our heads that tells us that we're not good enough, we shouldn't try something, or we're simply not ready. This keeps us stuck in our personal and professional lives and it is our inner critic. The first thing that we'll talk about, and I have a few homework exercises for you for this video, is how to recognize when it is actually your inner critic that has shown up and not the voice of reason or that analytical voice in our minds that helps us solve problems. If you find yourself thinking very negative thoughts about yourself or the actions that you're getting ready to take, that are not solutions based, that's a really good sign that your inner critic has shown up. Typically, you'll hear yourself think things like, ugh, I'm so stupid, why did I say that? Or, I'd really like to apply for that job, but I don't have all of the qualifications, so I'm not gonna do it. The other thing that our inner critic does is it uses shame. It might be that you're going to embarrass yourself, that voice in your head may say that you will embarrass your family, your colleagues, or your children. Anytime you hear the voice of shame inside your head, typically that is going to be your inner critic who has shown up. And the time that your inner critic tends to show up is when you're about to do something amazing, <laughs> something that's big, a big step, uh, something that's outside of your comfort zone. So be aware that that is typically when your inner critic will show up. The other um, thing that you need to really be careful of, and that is knowing that this is the voice that's going to stop you, that's going to get in your way of achieving your dreams or making significant steps forward. Your inner critic will talk to you in ways that you would never talk to someone that you care about. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do, here's your homework assignment, is for the next week, carry around a notebook or a piece of paper and jot down with hashtags, just the typical four lines and across, so that you can count how many times your inner critic shows up in the next week. Your inner critic has a big job, and that job is to keep you safe. You have a big job too. Your job is to not let your inner critic stop you from making progress on your goals. In the next video, I'll begin a series on the three-step process to quiet your inner critic. And after that, share a few tips and ideas that will also help quiet your inner critic and help you move forward with your goals and your dreams. I look forward to the next video and sharing with you step one. Have a great day.